Time for the preview of the Farm to Fork Sunday brunch. Hey, Camby. I love me some brunch. We came out here last year for the first year and got to experience this. And so many people were disappointed that they did not get their tickets. So I said, you know what, Sydney, we got to make sure we come out early so people can remember that it's happening next Sunday. Now, first, your mom, a very classy lady here, has brought us some brunch hats. Ladies who brunch. Yes, yeah, so we need a hat. What are you thinking? I'm what? thinking maybe red with your necklace. Okay, I don't know. red. And what about for you? How about this, this fancy brown one? I like it. Okay, got to get the hat. Now, the hats are not required, and the reason you don't need them is because this is the space. They actually shut down the street, and this is the space where the tables are going to be set up. And you can see the beautiful tree coverage that we have. So, even if it gets a little hot, you are still in the shade to be able to eat everything. Now, we have our crepes here. You guys had a lot of food last time, and it is all you can eat, all you can drink. So, well worth the money. What are we going to have out here? So, this year we're going to have a crepe station, huevos rancheros. We'll have oysters, both barbecued and raw, and we have um, preservation Bloody Marys and all-you-can-drink Bogle champagne mimosas. Okay, and this went crazy last year. People were showing up. I remember being here. They're like, well, what is going on here? They hadn't heard of it yet because it was so new. That's the same thing that happened with the dinner on the Tower Bridge. Now that thing sold out in 15 seconds. People <laughs> couldn't even get tickets. That's what this brunch is going to be. It's happening the day after Grape Escape. What do people need to know if they want to be able to get tickets to this? They need to act fast. They do. They need to act fast. And tickets are still on sale, though. And if you use the code Good Day, you will get um, $10 off your ticket. So, all this weekend, buy your tickets, farmtofork.com. Okay, perfect. So, you can get the tickets for the brunch, and it's uh, again next Sunday. And what time does it start? It starts at 10, it goes till 1 p.m. So, come early and stay all day, and it's going to be beautiful. And, like you said, it's all you can eat, all you can drink. So, it's pretty. Pretty amazing. You need to make sure that you come with a good appetite as well. You got to take advantage of that all you can eat, all you can drink. And this year, too, if you're not going to take advantage of the pre sale and use that coupon code, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but they will sell tickets at the door if you have them, right? Because it yeah. could sell out. Oh, yeah. We're definitely thinking it's going to sell out. We'll have about 400 to 500 people out here. It's going to be really beautiful. And we set it kind of like the Tower Bridge, two long tables. and. Ladies who brunch, so just come out, eat. It's gonna be great. And Sydney might have some hats from her mom. <laughs> uh, thank you to Sydney's mom for providing these beautiful hats. Now, coming up in the next hour, we are going to have Chef Jason here at the Hyatt because that's where this is. You sort of get the backdrop of the Capitol a little bit here off of 13th Street and L. And uh, the Chef Jason is going to be bringing out some of the uh, other foods that you'll be able to sample besides the crepes. So we got to get these. We got to get eating these, girl. I want to eat them. I know, me too. Oops. Ladies, thanks, Camby. Looks like a fun sauce. time. All right, thanks, <laughs> Camby. This morning, dozens of volunteers are preparing for.